Hey guys, and welcome back to Morg's Menu. So today I'm coming back with another Cooking 101 video, another addition to this series. So for today's video, instead of sharing a bunch of new tricks and tips that I've shared in previous Cooking 101 videos, as I mentioned, I think in the first video, one big step into becoming better at cooking in general is just to have the right tools on hand. I wanted to share 10 items that kind of I basically use every single week, multiple times probably throughout the week, and all of them are good and affordable. As I mentioned in that video, you really don't have to invest a lot of money in cooking products. You of course can. You can get fancy pans, you can get fancy bowls, you can get fancy utensils if you want to, and that's you know something that you're interested in investing in. But if you're a beginner just getting started out and you're trying to figure out how to kind of break into the overall process of learning how to cook, a lot of these items are going to be really helpful for you and not going to break the bank. So let's go ahead and get started talking about some of my favorite cooking items. All right, so the first item I actually wanted to talk about is not really over here on the table. If you are someone like me who you drop a lot of food or stuff like that when you're cooking, get your a nice like kitchen vacuum. These really are helpful. Anytime you're cooking, they'll stand right by your feet waiting for you to drop anything. Really just a great product to try out. So I, I definitely recommend getting one of these. So if you guys I follow my channel pretty consistently, you know I missed Wednesday's video. That was because it was supposed to be a video on air fryer hacks. So we'll start with my air fryer here. I ended up actually burning my thumb, um, not during that video, I was using it for something else, but I was supposed to finish up that video that night and it just didn't happen. So we'll start off by talking about the air fryer. Uh, now this is probably, actually definitely the most expensive item that I'm going to talk about today, but if you're someone who either one likes fried food um, or and you're trying to maybe cut back on some of the fried food that you're eating or cut back on the mess that the oil from a normal fryer can make, I would definitely recommend this. I'm not someone who really is accustomed to eating a lot of fried food when I'm at home, when I go out and stuff like that. I love a good fried chicken sandwich. That's one of my favorite things. But um, when I'm at home, that's just not something that my mom made a lot growing up. We did a lot of grilled food, baked food, that kind of stuff, which was really good. And that's just what I kind of had continued on. But I had been seeing so many different recipes, especially when I started my channel and trying to branch out and find new recipes to make. I always saw recipes for the air fryer. And honestly, I love it. I use this several times a week now. It's so easy, especially if you're just someone who likes to make really simple meals like basic frozen french fries. Making those in the air fryer compared to just baking them in the oven, they just get nice and crispy. Um, I love being able to make fried chicken sandwiches for myself at home now and just making them. And it definitely cuts back on the calories that from a normal like fried chicken sandwich that you get at a fast food restaurant or at a restaurant. So I definitely recommend this. It's great for vegetables. It's great for meats. It's great for, like I said, frozen stuff. I just really like it. There's a lot of different stuff that you can do with it. So it is a little bit more of an exp expensive item. So this might be one of those where you ask for it for a gift or something like that. That's what I did. Um, but it's really nice. I have the Ninja brand. So I'll link everything that I talk about uh, down below. Uh, I'm assuming most of it I can link down below. If for some reason I can't, I will link another version of it. Maybe it was updated or something since I had gotten it. But don't quote me on it. It might be like a four quart one or six quart. Um, it's Basically the one that's made for like a family of two to four, I think, and obviously we don't need anything bigger than that, but they do make them smaller if you're someone who lives alone or they make them even bigger if you're someone who has a big family. So um, definitely recommend an air fryer um, and this one has worked really well. I don't have any problems with it sticking. It just, it just does a great job. So this is probably a good brand to look for for air fryers in general, but you can of course get all sorts of different sizes based on what you need. All right, now the second kind of appliance item I'll go ahead and talk to that's sitting right here is a crock pot. Now, a crock pot, if you're someone who wants to get into meal prepping or get into quick and easy meals, definitely get a crock pot. And the good thing about crock pots is they are so popular now. There's so many different kinds. This one specifically, there's nothing fancy about it. You can get them now where they're like Bluetooth or they have like apps that you can turn them on and off from your phone. So like if you're at work, you could turn it on at a certain time or turn it off at a certain time. This one I kind of wanted to bring up because I see this one a lot kind of like whenever we like Black Friday sales or just like sales in general at Walmart, Target, 
I'm sure they have these on Amazon too. This is just a, like a very basic kind. Um, I think it's just a, the Crock-Pot brand. Again, I'll link everything down below that I can find. Again, I'm not exactly sure of the exact size, but this one, I've never had any issues. I make, you know, a lot of different recipes that have anywhere from four to six different servings in it. When I do sides, I use these for Thanksgiving. I made a huge pot of macaroni and cheese in this. It's definitely good, and it's a good size because sometimes Crock-Pots can be like, really big or really tall and they just don't you know it's hard to store them especially if you're like me and you live in an apartment but um this one's just really nice it's really basic but it has all the settings that you need you can turn it on uh, low or high or warm um you can also set it so it has some s specific timing out so you can set it to cook on low for eight hours and then it automatically turns on warm so i've done that before where I go to work or something, I'll turn it on um, right when I leave, and then when I get back, I come back after my eight hour work day, and it's turned warm, and then the food is already ready to go, so that's really nice. So this is one of those, again, you can upgrade it if you want, but this one is really basic, a perfect size, especially for someone who just wants to get into meal prepping. There are so many recipes that I have on my channel and that are just on Pinterest in general that make meal prepping so much easier if you have one of these. Just invest in a crock pot it, you will not regret it now moving back on this side so this is actually an immersion blender which i i think i got this around a year ago or so now this is super helpful whenever you're making soups or chilies or really if you're just trying to mash anything in general i use this now when i make mashed potatoes it just makes everything so much easier because it's a nice little just has a cord and it's handheld um, and it has like a protector at the bottom um, and there's like the blade down in here but you can set it down on the surface and it's not going to you know the blades not going to touch the surface so it's really good when you're have a big pot of soup or something and you want to maybe blend up the potatoes that are in it or whatever you want to do you can just stick this right in blend it around and you don't have to worry about it scratching the bottom of your pot or anything like that it's just really handy to have i got this one this is just a the betty crocker brand it has two settings just low and high i'm pretty sure i just use one the high one all the time but if you're someone who maybe you don't have a hand mixer or you're kind of running into the same thing with me where you have to like move the soup to a pot to a different bowl that you can not worry about scratching the bottom this is a really good item to kind of prevent that from happening and now moving on to some of the utensils that i have here so kind of branching off these are, are the betty crocker brand as well i mentioned in my first cooking 101 video about some of the items that the dollar stores have and this betty crocker brand i found and this this is like a rubbermaid kind i got all four of these different utensils cooking utensils um, from the dollar store and i bought them back when i first moved into a, in an apartment i think one of these one or two of these might be mitch's and the rest are mine um but we both got them just from the dollar store when we first moved into our first apartments right after college so they're at least like three to four years old now they were literally maybe they were i think they were one dollar they may have been two or three dollars each but they just have lasted a really long time so i just wanted to mention these i don't know that i can link them down below i'll try and find them but um if you go into any dollar store you will see in the utensil section the betty crocker brand i'm sure there are other ones in there that are fine but i know we've had these for a really long time this one i literally used this morning it's really good for like pancakes because it's nice and thin and big it's good for when you're kind of serving big um you know lasagna or something like that it's really nice it's nice and flat and thin to use this is just like a spoon ladle but again you can get it from the dollar store so not something you necessarily like need all of the time but for a dollar totally worth it and then this one is nice because it has the slotted spoon so anytime you need to pull anything out of water or strain something it's really nice just to have the slotted spoon so I wanted to just mention these because they're so affordable have lasted me a really long time and there's no need to pay a lot of money for kitchen utensils unless you want them to look a certain way. If you're fine with just plain old black utensils, these are perfect and will last you a good amount of time. All right, and moving on to another appliance type here. I'm not going to pick it up because I think you can mostly see it, but this is just a rice cooker. This literally makes your life so much easier for meal prepping. You guys know you see a lot of my meal prep recipes everything always involves rice right at least one of the meals that i cook every single week is going to involve rice i actually just got a new one but it's basically the same one that i've had forever again i got it directly out of college 
um, and it had lasted me a really long time, but unfortunately Mitch dropped it not that long ago. It made a little dent in the rice cooker bowl and it made the, the nonstick coating that's in the bowl kind of start to flake off and we just didn't want to have any of that flake off in any of the rice that we were eating. So we just got a new one and honestly it was only $20. So this new one and it even has an additional little compartment to it. So as you can see, this is just like kind of the normal rice cooker part. I think this will cook, cook up to like four cups of rice. And then this one actually has a steamer top. So you could put some broccoli or some other vegetable that you want to steam up top and you can do all that at once and you can steam the vegetables from the water that the rice is cooking in and kind of steaming up and boiling um, but the rice cooker is just so much easier because you don't have to worry about watching it on the stove and watching the boiling water making sure nothing's boiling over make sure you're not cooking it too long and make sure blah blah blah, blah. it's literally just you toss in the rice, you throw in the broth or the water or whatever you want to use for the rice, and you turn it on. It does its everything for you. You just flip the little switch. When it's done, the, the little switch will flip back up, and it just turns on to a warming thing. So if the rice is done for your other stuff, you can just leave that on that setting for five or ten minutes, let it just stay warm, and then take it out when you're ready. Um, or you can take it off immediately. It's just so nice because I just like put the rice in there and I don't have to worry about it. That's another thing that I don't have to worry about multitasking and checking on. You don't have to stir it. You literally just put it in there, turn it on. It's kind of like a crock pot. It's just, it makes your life so much easier. And literally this was $20 from Target. You can get them from Amazon, Target, wherever. You can even, I even saw them for like $13 or $14 if you wanted to get one that's smaller, if you're not someone who cooks, you know, big amounts at a time. But literally this is just so much easier. I definitely would recommend if you're trying to get into meal prepping, invest in these two things and you will very quickly find out that meal prepping is not as hard as you think it is. And kind of moving on all the way over here. So this is not really food related, but this is a, an electric wine opener. This literally makes your life so much easier, especially if you're someone like me. We tend to have people over obviously when the world is more normal, but um, we have people over and it just makes it so much easier um, to have this available. This comes with a nice little like base here that you can see to charge it. And it has this little contraption here. You basically put this on top of the wine bottle and it cuts off any of the uh, foil topping that's on the wine bottle. And then you just push this on, you push this button down. It basically has a little spiral in here, um, corkscrew, that goes into the cork that's in the bottle. You just literally hold it down until it pops out itself. You don't have to shimmy it around. You don't have to like pull it off. You literally wait until you hear that pop. Once you hear the pop, that means it's out of the wine bottle. Set the wine bottle down and then you just press the release button that's up here and the cork comes out. You don't literally, you. it's as simple as putting it on, pressing the button, waiting until you hear the pop, pressing the other button and it's all gone. It's so simple, so straightforward, and so inexpensive. This one, I think, again, I got from Amazon. I know I've bought people gifts for this before, so I'll definitely link it down below. They have some that are super expensive and like $100, but like, like I said, I open bottles of wine very often. This has never let me down, and it just makes your life so much easier because you're not having to worry about screwing it on and like getting it in the perfect spot. If you put this on the top of the wine, it's coming off and you don't have to worry about it. So I definitely recommend this if you're someone who either one, loves wine or two, hosts a lot of people. This just makes it so much easier and it's always visible so you don't have to worry about constantly ask, answering the question, do you have a wine opener? Do you have a corkscrew? Do you have this? This is there and anybody can figure out how to use it. It's so basic. All right, and staying on this side of the table, we'll now go back to cooking and talk about this pan. This is just a basic Fabberware brand like copper pan and I love it. This is by far the best pan that I've ever had and it's literally, I think, maybe $15. I have two of these now. When I graduated, one of like my graduation gifts was a big, nice set of, I think they were Rachel Ray pans and I used those for a while, but just after time, pans in, in general, they lose their non-stickness and you have to, they have to replace them and just randomly one day I was buying something from Target and I was like, you know what, let me just try this pan and I love it. I use it as often as I can. That's why I bought a second one recently because I find myself like trying to use this pan way too often. So I wanted the second one so that if I need to cook two things at once, I have both of my favorite pans because it's literally the best. I It's just so easy to use, so inexpensive. 
I cook eggs in it, I cook everything in it, nothing ever sticks or you know anything like that. I've had the first one I bought probably for a little over a year now, so and the non-stickness is still there perfectly. And so for a $15 pan from Target, you can't beat that. So I definitely recommend this. It's the perfect size just for basic sauteing, um, really anything. So definitely recommend it if you're looking for either a replacement pan or something to get you started you could get one or two of these and this is literally all you would need for our basic recipes another thing from target i want to talk about is this kind of a dinner plate and bowl set so as you can see here this is a kind of just normal size large dinner plate a smaller like i guess technically these are called like appetizer plates or whatever and then a bowl this bowl is nice and big so if it's salads cereals soups whatever you want to in it um, but I have had this set, my sister got this for me, again, for college graduation, so over four years ago. I use them all the time. I had one set originally when I lived by myself, and I, you know, had, had four of each thing. I used it all of the time. And then when Mitch and I moved in together, we wanted to get another set um, just to have more plates and bowls available, because obviously two of us will use up the amount of plates that I have in two days. So... Um, we just got another identical set to this, but the original kind, I don't, I can't tell. I don't know which one I got first because they haven't shipped. They haven't, you know, gotten any weird stains on them. They're just perfect. It's such an inexpensive set and it's lasted me a really long time. And I, I really love this gray color, but I think there are different colors. So I'll link this down below if they've been using the dishwasher and they're just, they're great. I really, really like them and recommend them. And then the last two items are over here. So this one I just, again, recently got for Christmas. I think actually Mitch may have gotten it in his stocking. But this is just an oven mitt. And I have been using these oven mitts that I got, um, I think, from like Big Lots when I first graduated college. And they were decent. They were kind of, I don't know how well you can tell with the, the silicone material. There wasn't any of the, like normal like when you picture an oven mitt you picture kind of those cloth ones and I liked the silicone ones just because they were super easy to clean anytime if I stuck you know the my thumb and it got dirty or something it was really easy I could just like wash it off like I would a plate or something like that and they were really easy to clean but those were just like kind of thin and so I found that like I had to like make sure I was using both of them using both hands because if I would pull a pan out with just one hand and all the weight was on it it would make my hand hot and sometimes I would be scared that I was going to burn myself so we just needed an upgrade and so I really like this one because it kind of combines that traditional cloth um, the inside is cloth and the top here is cloth but then it has the silicone on the outside so again it's going to be super easy to clean but it has the thickness of that cloth so I've never had any issues feeling like I'm going to burn myself or anything on this we have one right now we'll eventually upgrade to another one this is just a, the better what is it better home better homes and gardens which I'm pretty sure is a Walmart brand it's just really basic and really nice and again I like it because it is neutral I'm a neutral person um, but just really recommend if you're going to get some oven mitts, I recommend this one, something like this that is a combo of the cloth so that it's nice and protective for your hand, but then the silicone so that it's really easy to clean. All right, and the last item I wanna talk about is this set of cutting boards here. Now, you guys probably see in most of my videos that I use the wooden ones that I have most often just because they look really nice in videos, and I have one now that's engraved with Morse Menu on it, so I use those a lot for videos, but you'll see probably occasionally the one of these in my videos as well. Anytime I'm cutting meat or something, I like to use a plastic one just because of how we have to clean those. You're not really supposed to submerge them in, the, in water so they don't get waterlogged and all that kind of stuff. So anytime I'm cutting, especially chicken or anything like that, I like to use the plastic ones just because I know that we can clean these. We can put them in the dishwasher if we want to. I just wanted to recommend these because we got the set, I believe, from Amazon, I think about two years ago now, and they're just really nice. I like them because I'll get the small one out here. I like them because they're kind of two-sided. So this side here has, I don't know how well you can see, um, but it has like a little crevice kind of going around the outside. So if you are cutting something that may have some sort of juices or something in it, this um, side is kind of made for that. So it'll catch anything so you don't have anything running off the end of it. Um, but then also you can flip it over if you're cutting something kind of tough that may cause your cutting board to shift around or something like that. It has some raised up little um, kind of 
sticky, they're not sticky, but they're, anyway, they prevent slip, non-slip things. Um, so you can flip it over on this side. And so if you're cutting like something that's gonna move around, like an onion or something like that, or a sweet potato, that's, you kind of have to really put a lot of effort into it. This is nice because you don't have to worry about shifting around. So I just really like these. And just for a basic set of cutting boards that I use when I'm just like grabbing something quick and not, you know, doing anything super intense cooking wise, I really like these and I wanted to share them. So they've lasted us a long time and were also really inexpensive. So that's gonna wrap up everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. As I was going through and picking out the stuff, there's definitely a lot of other things that I wanted to mention, but I didn't want to have like three tables full of kitchen stuff and talk to you all for three hours. So I definitely am considering doing a part two to this video. So if you liked this video and you liked this type of suggestion video, let me know, give this video a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below if you wanna see part two. Again, I'm gonna try and link everything that I can, but if you have any questions on where to find anything, feel free to leave those in comments down below. If you're new here and haven't yet subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I post on Wednesdays and Sundays. Thanks again for watching Mark's Menu and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.